youtube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Congratulations on the album. Appreciate that, boss. Uh, it's the name of the album it means joy, but it's also your name as yeah, well. Yeah, that's my name, Ayo. So you want to just get it out there? Yeah, just like, yeah. This is you. This is original. Yeah. Whiz. Yeah. This is like original. Yeah, great Africa. album. Long time coming. I know. We Long had to time. wait. <laughs> Why the delay? And originally it was talk of a mixtape, then the yeah, album. Yeah, yeah. And I actually then... got the mixtape ready now. So I'm working on it. I'm trying to get a release date for the mixtape. So. Okay, so Hopefully. the album, then the mixtape. Yeah. Then I have another album. On your label? Yeah. <laughs> so is this album Kiss You Goodbye album? <laughs> Uh, it's it, exactly. the end of a chapter moving on. Yeah, end of a chapter moving on. Yeah. But a new beginning. Yeah. Like. But this one was still a labor of love, man. This was yeah, a long course, time coming. Man. So I had to put in work in yeah, that. You know, I didn't just want to give the label just, you know, stupid music. So it, I had to put in some work for them it, as well. Absolutely. And you show some love and single after single. Yeah. Just smashing it smash, out there. Smash. <laughs> yeah. A lot of heat out there. A, a lot of work. And, and you've been dropping singles consistently leading up to this. So yeah, man, in I a good to. place. Definitely. I just, I'm thankful to my fans, you know, yeah. my fans, like, they're always supportive of everything I do, yeah. like, no matter yeah. what I do. We yeah. got a lot of big records on that album. Man. What other joints is your favorite of there? Man, it's a lot. I have to show you the money, the one featuring Tiger. Yes. Do you the, know the, the crazy original thing and is, the remix. Yeah, and the remix. Mm. The crazy thing is, you know, the first time, um, I, of course, I knew of Tiger, but the first time Tiger heard of Wiz was when he came for your show. And they did a freestyle on Dundo. Right, and that's yeah. how you did Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so it did that. So that got a lot of heat. So he was like, who's this kid with? It, exactly. You know, so, yeah, so I'm bigging you up for that, oh, man. My pleasure, fam. Yeah. Oh, yo, yeah. glad you could be part of the process. Six, six, and, six. and like that, uh, Don't Dull, we had um, J. Cole up in a party. Yeah. Was playing those joints. Oh, six, he asked six. me to send in the instrumental of Don't Dull. Ah, oh, six. So we'll make it happen, exactly, man. Exactly, man. Yeah, so I, I think you, out of... Uh, a lot of African artists are really sort of resonating with the American artists. Yeah, man, but I'm still trying to keep it original as well, you know, so just straight, staying true to my sound. You know? Exactly. Like, the thing is, it's crazy how, like, a whole lot of African artists work. Like, a big respect to everyone that does it, but I've not really heard anything that has really crushed across, like, cut across, like, yes. major, properly, yes. majorly. Yes. But we're trying to do that, man. But keep found, you know, you want to keep founded, and then if you can develop if that, I can develop that cool, you know. And then the crazy thing is, a whole lot of artists they've reached out to me, you know, like, and it's amazing, it's a great feeling. So that's why I'll never stop working, like, yeah, I have to put in that work and you know, yeah. stay true to myself. I mean, we are obviously talking about this album, mm -hmm. but the future album, mm -hmm. there's talk of a, a Chris Brown collab, yeah, it's done already, done already, done, 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 done but not done on this album. Not a <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, I mean, you seem to work really far ahead. Yeah, we have obviously. to save it. Yeah, there's, yeah there's a plan exactly. For so you, obviously, you've got this album. Yeah. But we're also talking about the mixtape at this stage, yeah, and we're also I'm talking about <laughs> recording tracks for the next album. I'm always working, man. On Starboy. Uh, yeah. Fantastic situation. <laughs> and is there a Riri joint? I heard. Yeah, um, I got in the studio with Rihanna, like in LA. So. But I'm going back to LA to get in the studio with her to get her on one of my songs because what I did was for oh, her. Oh, it was for her song. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, so how it know, works it, now is. You know how it works. If, exactly. labels, if labels pick it, fine. If they don't, but you know. No, but you also know how it works. You know, one for you and. Yeah, of course, of course. One for her. <laughs> but she's, she's, she's really cool, man. Like the first time I met her, I didn't even think she was going to be that cool. But she's really oh, cool. Oh, she's super cool. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah super cool. She's like. Just a, a super real person, yeah, a superstar. Yeah, very, very super real. real. It's crazy yeah, how real. she's just very cool. normal, man. So, all looking good for the next album, yeah, yeah, as yeah. well as <laughs> we're talking about this album, obviously, <laughs> right. Now, show you the money. Yeah. What were you, is it, what were you talking about? Who were you talking about? What was going on? Um, basically, that record, it was, it was very, very special to me because one of my producers, we've, um, we've been working together for mm. a while, then we stopped working for a bit. Mm. Then after like a long time, like a year or two, he just came to my house. Wow. Like, he's got this record <laughs> and he played it and I was like, what? I definitely need to do something on that. Yeah, definitely. So like, um, it's pretty much just, you know, in Africa, it's crazy how, you know, a lot of, everywhere in the world, females, they like diamonds, money and the good things of life. Exactly. <laughs> so I was just pretty much just talking about, you know. The good things in the life. The good things of life, basically. But I, for the video, I wanted something different, like, you know, because I had to take it back to my hood. Like, I went to where I grew up, like, exactly. Sulay, 
you know, like Lagos, Lagos. That's where the people. The that's where it started. You exactly. Know, like, for me and like at the video shoot, we had like seven thousand people out. Mad. More than seven thousand people out for the video yeah. shoot. Just video shoot. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and people would just want to come, baby. I know. Man. And it's not like you would announce that in advance. I didn't even announce nothing. Like, I just showed just up there. that day and we just did it. Crazy, Crazy love, man. And like it was love. Like, like even the people were my security. I didn't even mm. need to take go with no security mm. or nothing, man. That's how they show me love. And, and it's good to bring it back home. Like always, that. always, yeah. man. Always, always. And then you also jumped on. Uh, Surulay. Surulay. You also yes. jumped on the, on the remix, remix of that song. Yeah. Smashed that down, something crazy. Appreciate that. And it was important that. that you were on that song because, you know. Of course. That's my hood. That's yeah, that's your hood, baby. <laughs> That's my, that's my, that's, mm. that's home for me, man. Yeah. Sue Larry, that's yeah. everything, you know. Yeah. Because I, I learned everything from Sue Larry. Like, the music, when I started, like, you know, the producers that pretty much taught me about music, like, everything was in Sue Larry. Yeah. So, I had to just do that. <laughs> it was only right. It's blessed, baby. <laughs> it, it, a song like that couldn't be out there and you're not yeah, jumping on oh, it. of course. But no. you, you jump on a lot of songs. There's yeah. that, you, you're just out there really heavy with... Obviously, with your album, but you've got the joint with LAX, mm -hmm. Legendary Beats. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got that Yo Garrett. I mean, yeah. you seem to be just putting in work. Yeah, man. Like I said, it man. I'm always in the studio, so mm. and, um, I like good music. I'm, I'm all about the music, to be honest. And I never charge people for any collaborations. I'll never, I never take money for anybody for anything. So you just jump on because you if want to I jump like on. If I like it, I jump on it. If you like the yeah. song, if it's going to be hit, yeah, you need to be with I it. I jump on it. I, I need exactly. to be Exactly. That's what I feel. And you know, like. Um, so you really. I'm easy, man. For these artists, you really showing them some love, helping them. Yeah, of them. course. LAX, you know, is putting out music on the Starboy. Yes. You know, in Nigeria, Legendary Beats, their producers signed under my label, exactly. Starboy. Exactly. You know, I have, and my other friends, you know, like um, Yanni and Casey, everyone that just brings me records, like, if it sounds good, yeah. I jump on it. But and it depends on how good it is. Yeah. <laughs> and talking about your label and your situation, DJ mm. Exclusive. Yeah, doing DJ good work. Exclusive, definitely. And he was, like, out, he was out here working as yeah, a DJ. Coming, yeah, smashing it. <laughs> smashing it. He was one of those there. hot West End DJs. Doing good right exactly. now. Exactly. And then, he's like, coming. He's coming in today, so. So what did you... How did you reconnect with him then? Um, it was when I actually performed in London, I met Exclusive, you know. So when, after my performance, I was just like, yo, bro, what are you doing in London? He said, uh, I play some shows, you know, I do some... Like, oh, no, he'd be smashing it out there. Yeah, of course. I'd yeah. be like, bro, you need to get on the road with me, man. Exactly. So I don't know how we're going to do it, but let's just make it happen. I mean, so these London trips are it. really <laughs> like important to you for like... Of course, London like, is like my home as well, yeah. you know, because, you know, we have a lot of Africans here as well. And we have... A lot of UK people that love my yes. music, and, you know, and I really do appreciate that. So yeah. every now and then, I love to be out here, man. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love London, man. Trust yeah. me. This is like Lagos. I feel at home when I'm there. I mean, the weather's a little bit different. I know. Um, <laughs> that the transport system's a little bit different. A little bit different. <laughs> it's easier to get to work. Um, there's buses and there's tubes out here. I don't see a lot of similarities. Now you're actually. talking like you're being Seriously, Lagos. having been to like Lagos, Lagos, I do not see anything like that I know in London. Me. I know it's exactly. Me. You know, but for people, for me, it's just the people, man. You know, like yeah, the, the people and the nice love, people man. In London, everywhere. Yeah. Just every now and then, being in London is nice, man. Yeah. It's, it's weird. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, actually, nice. Yeah. yeah. YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV.